What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Wolf from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. I wanted to put this out the other day. Sorry I hadn't made any videos this weekend. I've been kind of sick. I tell you what, I was getting real sick earlier. I thought the room was spinning. I don't know what was going on. But I'm uh, feeling a little bit better now, so I want to make this. I had a lot of time to think about this this weekend because I got a lot of different theories about the uh, water on Mars or the water here. Um, it looks like water dripping down, about it being darker sand and uh, possibly not. Now, I've also found, which I should have went and looked that day, when I got this, I pretty much was like, boom, you know, you blow your load, you want to come out here and <laughs> hit this stuff up right away. So I got this out, and I should have taken a look at some of these other soils, because it's not just this, it's in a couple other pictures too. Um, but when I started really thinking about this stuff, and let me see, let me just move this over a little bit. I started thinking about also how this all here, you can kind of see where it looks like it's dripped down before. It's not just this pattern it does in, like the dark sand is not just there. It's actually coming, and look how it actually looks dark up in here too, like it's uh, you know been moist and it's coming down from the crevices. And everywhere there's one of these, you're going to notice there's going to be a crevice. So which also leads me to believe it's kind of just naturally all the water's gathering up and it's flowing out through it. And I notice this sometimes just out by my pool where I've got stones up against the thing and the sand comes down, and uh, it kind of does the same thing where you you'll see this drip out every once in a while into the dark sand. It's it's real light sand. Um, because it's beach sand here, but you know, look look at the the color. What happens when you start jacking up the exposure a little bit? And maybe just some of the contrast. You can start seeing that this is uh these were the pools. See how it also looks like it came down a little bit here. Like this was a lot thicker at one time. I guess depending on how much moisture is there. And uh, so I'm I'm still going with the the whole. This looks like moisture to me thing. Um, some sort of water. Some sort of some sort of liquid, you know, and to me, why wouldn't it be water? It looks like water. It looks like everything, it looks like what we see here it, that looks like water. So now let's take a look at some of these other pictures too, because here's another little spot that it does it as well. And uh, this actually looks to pretty much dug itself out very, like this actually had a lot more flow to it. And you can see here as well, here's more of the, uh, that same color coming down. Looks a little wet. Looks like it had been wet at one time. Now there's also pretty pretty chilly temperatures there on Mars too. So some of this stuff may you know stay wet for an awful long time, especially if it doesn't freeze. Uh, maybe it's not just water. Maybe it's got something else with it. But uh, this whole area, this is how this is cut out here, and it comes down through here. It doesn't look like this was caused by rocks or. And you see here how this this looks like it was just popped up in another time. See, this is what makes me believe that it's not just. Uh, I don't have my little mouse pad working here I should this right here let me just zoom it in there we go. Ooh, it's got some low battery that's why all right let's see if that helps at all now this does look to be disturbed but then again that means that the under layer under so this looks like maybe some rock came pulling down here at one time but see how you can still see this coming around here check that out let's see exposure you see, it's still in there. You can see it. Like, this was just like that. This was water that came over top of it. Didn't really mess anything up. And it just comes down. It follows the path of uh, least resistance, which is straight on down through the little gully it's made over time. And over here, when we got more... I keep going to this pad over here. Sorry, guys. Um, here, it looks like it's got more of what could have dripped down from here, hit this rock and kept dripping. To me, I see it. That's what here it comes down a little bit, and then this is indicative too of at least where I am, where there's sand that does this. You get these little round things. I don't know what it's from. It, it, I guess it's from maybe just different particles in the sand, but uh, that happens a lot after after you have things like that. This is the same area right there that we've seen, which is right here. So that was the next one. Here, once again, here's some more over here. This isn't a shadow. It's uh, let me zoom in over here. Ah, uh, it stinks not having my little trackpad here. All right, coming down here, right off this bottom rock. It's like it comes in, it, it filters its way on down, and comes down. They said it could be another sand, but to me, it looks like it's been dripping. Um, that's without looking at the rest of these pictures in depth, because these pictures are pretty amazing. Some of these. Uh, just what looks to be around them looks like carvings and things like that. I've gotten all sorts of good. That's one thing that stinks. There we we're back in business about uh, you know not having it, when you're sick or something like that. I get all these messages and it's like oh I want to go look at every single one, but I just felt you know way too sick to do it this weekend. 
Um, but I get so many good emails from you guys. It, it's like it's so hard not to sit there and mess with it. Like, ah, oh, looking at it. Check this one out here. This is a pretty long one, it looks like. And there's nothing down here, a rock, that would have done that or would have taken that path. It would, see here at the bottom where it spreads out? But just look at the different color in the grate here. Up here, there's interesting, you know, and you would you would think that the water would be would stick more where it goes down deeper. Here, it's a little bit darker, a little bit deeper. Same thing here. There's some interesting grooves. Unless NASA was using a laser, you know, and going after something and shooting this stuff up, it looks like water erosion to me. Now, up here, too, also looks very interesting, the uh, the way this stuff is just all laid out. Anomalies galore, as usual, this whole area just seems to be littered with stuff um, that could have been used. So I'm on the fence. Now, see, if I see water, now I'm even more convinced. Now, how come... How can I say that maybe things couldn't live there? Now, this was also sent to me by someone right here. This looks like either a little carving, but then the guy made perfect sense. He said, that's not carving. That's a bush. You know, that's what, that's the kind of, it looks like vegetation here that maybe could pop up here on Mars. Um, I couldn't, couldn't help but say, you know, that does kind of look like some, just a random vegetation. I got to take my eyes out of, you know, thinking, oh, Earth. But uh, that does look like, something that could be all folded up like a bush or something like that and it's very out of the ordinary here look how much it stands out uh, there's some of the stuff right here i guess it could be a piece of like something that's cut off that's got the similar type to it but i don't know that was an email i got i thought that was pretty interesting now there's also like i said if you go back uh if you go back two or three videos i did the flower videos and uh I must say, that thing is either something that's sitting up under there that's been put there or it's growing. And this kind of water coming down, seeping through the rocks would allow something like a flower or like some sort of, you know, fungus. Who knows what, what it actually is to grow there. So if you go back and check that one out, that's pretty cool, too. That, that video has been getting a lot of hits. I've been not, I mean, it's not going crazy viral, but it's getting a lot of hits for you guys. I mean, usually my videos will get about anywhere from 500 to 2,000 hits within a week. Some of them get about 5,000. It depends who runs them, how, how Facebook does with them. But we're starting to get up there, guys. I just rolled over 11,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much who subscribed. And uh, I'm going to be doing more call to actions here. I want you guys to help me get this stuff out. You know, it's if you're watching the videos, you're enjoying them, it's time to get this time to start passing the information along, whether it's you typing it up for people or it's sharing these type of videos, mine, the Mars anomalies, Christian's videos, the ones that you feel that your your friends and family might, you know, actually understand, or just random people. I'll tell you what, there's gonna be many ways to do it. Um, and here you can see a whole just kind of slew of the area this looks nothing looks to be wet like the other stuff but then again it looks to be just like you know the dark down here and you can see how it looks like it's different shades and like water would be dripping here dripping there dripping there and it looks like the rover just came upon it like i said who knows how many days it could stay like that with as chilly it is i mean maybe this stuff is will stay this color until you know it unfreezes but pretty interesting not that i even think it's frozen um, all the time. This was the one that I did re a little while ago with this stuff. Look at the, look at that right there. Look, look, tell me that doesn't look like a building. Just stuff that was built together. Now, it'd be on a lot of shale and some weird stuff in here, but this is an amazing picture. I did a video a little bit back. It's got all sorts of anomalies in it. I know I missed it, like with perfect little blocks right here. Um, another one up here. Stuff that's just amazing. And even what, I've got it in Photoshop and the other ones, so I've even it's made it a lot more crisp. What even seem to be sh overall shapes to all these things here. Look at this stuff that looks like it's actually been uh, carved into the side there. So go check out that video. That's a couple back. Um, a lot. Here's the flower. You know, it's actually it's the flower video. Here it is right there. This would make all this other stuff right here. This, this, and if it's coming down through, would make that possible because look it's right at the bottom where you would imagine all of the uh, water to seep so that could be something look there's green in it so anyways guys i wanted to put together something to show you a little bit more water here and uh, hopefully i've done it hopefully you had a good weekend enjoyed yourself it, whether you're watching this whatever much love to you www.whatsbeenthesky.com got some new people posting on there as always check out the stuff uh check go check out the website and uh join up sign up hit the register button sign up come join us in the forums uh it's a lot easier to talk on somewhere like that too than where we uh have to go back to each video every time i hate that about youtube you have to comment on, on a certain video so anyways guys much love to you peace